Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we have a couple pieces of exciting stock market news, but a bunch of notable earnings reports that just reported this morning. And of course, we'll take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. All right, jumping right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. Currently, the Dow futures are up 0.34%, S&P 500 futures are up 0.43%, while NASDAQ futures are up 0.64% so far. Yesterday, we heard that rental car company Hertz would be ordering 100,000 Teslas by the end of 2022. The news sent both shares rising. Hertz will be able to expand what has been a constrained fleet size and will likely get premium rental prices for the desirable Tesla. And for Tesla, the order is the largest by a rental car company and opens up a new market that will allow Hertz's big customer base to try out a Tesla, potentially becoming buyers of the EV. The Hertz Global Stock just has one analyst rating with a buy but no price target. And of course, Tesla, always divided among analysts, comes in as a hold with an average downside of over 23%. Recent ratings had upside of 7 to 17%. Jeff Bezos' space company, Blue Origin, wants to build a commercial space center by the second half of this decade with partners like Boeing. A venture with aerospace technology company Sierra Space and backed by partners including Boeing and Arizona State University, Orbital Reef is designed to be a commercially developed and operated space station in low Earth orbit. Described as a mixed-use business park in space, the station plans to offer commercial, research, and tourism customers a range of services including space transportation, logistics, habitation, equipment, and crew. The Blue Origin stock itself is not publicly traded, but Boeing is and is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of over 29%. Now moving right over to notable earnings reports. It is a busy week for earnings with plenty of notable companies reporting. Just in the after hours today, we'll be hearing from big names like Advanced Micro Devices, Microsoft, Google, Visa, and Twitter. Last night, we heard from Facebook, who delivered mixed results for their third quarter and did not announce a name change as some anticipated. Facebook reported net income of $9.19 billion, or $3.22 a share, which was ahead of Wall Street's estimates of $3.19 per share. Their revenue of $29.01 billion was just below the consensus of $29.49 billion. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 26.5%. We also heard from General Electric, who came in with better than expected results for their earnings. They reported adjusted earnings per share at 57 cents, which came in ahead of analyst consensus of 43 cents. Their revenues did slip about half a percent to 18.43 billion, while the analyst estimates were 19.29 billion. The GE stock is up slightly following the earnings release. Currently, it is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of just 1%, but we haven't seen any analysts reiterate price targets following this earnings. We also heard from United Parcel Service, or UPS, who came in ahead of analyst expectations for their earnings report and also increased their operating margin target for 2021. They had earnings of $2.71 per share on a revenue of $23.2 billion. The consensus earnings estimate was $2.52 on revenue of $22.6 billion. Their operating margin target was raised to approximately 13% when it was previously targeted at 12.7%. Their stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 9%. And we heard from Eli Lilly, who came in with results that were slightly below analyst expectations, but they did raise their full year guidance. They posted third quarter earnings per share of $1.94, which was two cents below analyst estimates. 
Their revenue came in at $6.77 billion when analysts were expecting $6.64 billion. The company said that they expect full-year adjusted earnings of $7.95 to $8.05 versus prior guidance of $7.80 to $8 per share. Analysts rate their stock a strong buy with an average upside of over 14%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by MedPace Holdings. Under the ticker MEDP, they're currently up over 10%, followed by Digital Bridge Group under DBRG up 9.7%, and Tata Motors under TTM up nearly 5%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Logitech. Under the ticker LOGI, they're down nearly 8%, followed by Polaris under PII, who's down 6.5%, and Canon under CAJ, down nearly 5%. So that'll be everything for Tuesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you back here next time.